I honestly don't know how many times my hair has even been down on my channel. So today is Saturday, March 28th, and it may just seem like another normal day in quarantine for you if you even know what day it is but before all this started happening it was supposed to be the last game of the season for me with my team over in france against a team called not now obviously because of all this coronavirus stuff that's not happening i'm back home in texas if you didn't know if you haven't seen any of my videos that i've posted since all of the coronavirus stuff has started happening. But yeah, I'm back home in Texas and I've just been hanging out with my family, doing my two week quarantine, trying to come up with ideas to not get bored. Even though I'm not in France anymore, I still thought it'd be fun to do a pretend game day, get ready with me and show you guys how I do my hair and makeup if it was a real game. Before I get into it though, make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna see more videos from my channel. So I already straightened my hair. I figured you guys didn't need to see that and I put some Living Proof Dry Shampoo in because normally on a game day we do a surf pass and in the morning it's about an hour and you get sweaty but I'm honestly not sweaty enough to where I feel like I need to wash my hair again so I just end up putting dry shampoo in. So we'll start by putting my hair up in a ponytail to make sure everything is as smooth as possible i use one of the just generic black ponytail holders because i do have it doesn't look very thick but i have a lot of hair and then i go over it with one of these i don't know where they're from but my mom got them for my sister and i for christmas i thought they were cute so i started wearing them in my hair for the first half a season, I wore my hair in a bun, but that's just not me. I wasn't feeling it, so I switched back. All right, so my hair's up. It's in a ponytail. Not that hard. Now we move on to the makeup. And I'm going to say this right now before I get started. You don't need to wear makeup to play volleyball. You don't need to wear makeup to do anything. I just do because it's something that's been a part of my routine for a long time. I feel more confident when I wear makeup. It's just one of those things that makes me feel better. That's it. You know, you don't need to wear it. You're fine without it. I know I'm fine without it. It's just something that I've always done and I just want to continue doing, okay? That's all. Gotta pull all of my dang primers out because I actually have huge pores. I know people joke about having huge pores or claim to have huge pores, but I actually do. Oh, I just started with the Milk Makeup Cooling Primer Water Stick. Do I think it does anything? Not really. Do I still use it? Yes. Next, I'm gonna use the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This one I would say is comparable to the, what's it called? Tatcha Silk Canvas. I have that one as well, right down here in front of me, but I switch off between the two. Okay, then last for primer, I'll use the Too Faced Hangover. Go over top and down my neck a little bit. So normally in my makeup routine in the past, I've always gone in with foundation right after I've primed, kind of like a normal thing to do with everyday makeup. But for games, I would also wear it as well. I wanted to try and get away from that and wear lighter BB creams and stuff when I got over to France and I took some with me. However, my skin absolutely blew up on me. I got cystic acne. It was terrible, totally embarrassing. So I continued wearing my foundation for games, not because it was a part of my routine anymore, but because I was embarrassed for people to see my acne. When I came home for Christmas break, I went and saw an esthetician. She got me on a skincare line that has absolutely helped me out so much. I still have acne scars, obviously, but as far as the cystic acne goes, it had all gone away. I get normal, like, little things here and there, but it's nothing that ever really concerns me. So instead of using foundation now, I only go in with concealer. I still put it everywhere all over my face so that my skin tone is even, but I don't go in with anything heavy on my face anymore. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I just kind of put it in random places, kind of all over my face. Eventually, I will blend it all out. Yeah, this might not seem like a big deal, but for how bad my skin was, and eventually I'll make a video, talking about it and basically exposing myself um yeah it was so bad to the point where my face actually hurt to move and i had no 
idea how to get rid of it because you know you're overseas and I didn't want to just go to the store and try a brand new face wash if I didn't even know what it was how it was going to react with my skin because I'd never had acne before well okay correction I'd had acne but it wasn't to the point where it was cystic that was all new so to have that happen and not be able to just go and see someone right away really really sucked I'm gonna go back in just put a little bit on where my dark spots are still the most prominent. That was definitely a blow to my self-confidence and a total bummer. But we are on the up and up now and hopefully I don't ever get to that place again. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So I did my face, but obviously my face is not the same color as my body. It's a little darker. Um, yeah, I didn't really see the sun that much when I was living in France because I was in northern France. So I always take the concealer and a foundation brush and I just make sure that it is all blended in on my neck so that I don't look crazy. Because the last thing you want to be is clocked for looking like a dingus, you know? Move my necklaces. That's the other thing about playing pro. They don't care if you wear jewelry. Like NCAA, they were on you like white on rice and you go overseas, you play pro, nobody cares. So I wore my necklaces all the time. I wore earrings, I got my ears double pierced over Christmas break, came back, no problems at all. I'm going in with Laura Mercier setting powder, putting it under my eyes and then a little bit just in the center of my forehead, kind of get off whatever excess is there. So now I'm gonna take my Hoola bronzer and put some definition back in my face. I can't believe I'm even doing this right now. Like I'm in quarantine, guys. We're in a worldwide meltdown. I'm back in Texas, I'm not finishing out the last part of my season. That ain't happening, I'll tell you that much. Absolutely crazy. Make sure that the people know you kind of have a jaw, but not really. <laughs> and I also can't forget to let the people know that you have a nose. There we go. Uh... Okay, next I'm gonna use blush and it is the Too Faced Love Flush in the color Love Hangover. That's a long name, but there you go. And I just put a little bit on my cheeks. I don't want too much. Yeah, that's fine. I never really use a lot of blush. So I'm going to move on and do my brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Well, I don't know why that was so hard to say. Brow is in medium brown. I also use the Benefit Precisely My Brow to do them. But I ran out of that right before coming home actually. And just quarantine things. Haven't been able to go in any and really haven't thought until this moment to order any online. But I don't really have a preference. I like both. Also, I don't know if you can tell, look at this. I just filled that in. I only really did the sparse areas. I'm gonna get rid of, look at this. That is my natural brow, okay? Mm-hmm. They barely look any different. I don't know if you know the brand Grande Lash, but they also make Grande Brow, and I found that over Christmas break. So I've been using lash serum, and I've also been using brow serum, and they're actually thick. Like, it actually works, and I'm so excited because my brows have been light my entire life so i've always had to fill them in i've always wanted dark brows i know some people dye their brows i'm way too nervous to mess around with any of that so i thought i would try the brow serum boom works like a charm look at that look at that eyebrow it hasn't even been touched if i were to sit all the way back right now can you tell if you obviously didn't know which is which probably not not trying to tell you what to do, but if you want darker brows and you don't want to have to deal with buying this stuff all the time, because I feel like I've gone through it way more than I should. Like, look at this. I'll put a picture up right here of the last time I did a Get Ready With Me last year for how dark one brow was versus how light my natural ones used to be, because the difference is absolutely crazy. I've been using it for about three months now. Dude. The difference is absolutely insane, and now I just feel like I have to go in and only do the sparse areas of my brow. They, like, I don't know what, I don't know what to say. 
I think they look sensational. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to eyes. So obviously I don't wear eyeshadow during games. If that's something you want to do, go for it. Be my guest. Sometimes I will do eyeliner, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling or how much time I have that day. So the eyeliner that I use for game days is a brown color from Kat Von D. And I just pull my eye because it's really, really good for you. It's really good for the elasticity of your skin because we love making ourselves age a little too soon, don't we? And then lastly, I do mascara. So I'll be honest, I have a bunch of them and I really just kind of switch off between whatever one I grab at the time. I'll show you the ones that I took to France with me. One of them is the Tarte Man Eater uh, mascara. It's from the Whitney Simmons collection that she did with them. It comes in a little travel size, so it's really, really cute. I like it because I can wear it during games and I don't really have a ton of issues. It does come off on my upper lid. I will say a lot of them do. I don't wear waterproof mascara just because I feel like whatever the formula makes it stick to my lashes and it makes it harder to get off. And I'd rather not rip these out since I'm starting to grow them. Another one that I also wear is the Pat McGrath Labs. Some of these mascara names, man. Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. Some of these names kind of concern me. Like this next one that I have. <laughs> is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Yeah, I mean, it works really well, it's great, but some of these names are just a little, little concerning. Okay, so this one doesn't have a crazy name. This is the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. Uh, another one, the Monsu, I don't really know what it, Monsu, Su, Monsu, okay, it's by Lancome. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to use Thrive Cosmetics one just because it doesn't have a risque name and I didn't have trouble pronouncing it today. How about that? And we will be here for a while because I am somebody who is slow at- oh frick. Oh no, I'm making it worse. Does that look okay? I think so. All right, my lashes, jeez, they're so long. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. If I were to play in a volleyball game, people probably think I'm crazy. Stuff rocks. Okay, <laughs> last thing, I'm just going to set my face with some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Hold on one second. All right, so that is it for my game day makeup routine. I even threw on my jacket for warm-ups to try and pretend like this was normal and <laughs> it's a real game day, even though it's not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like me, if you wanna see more stuff from my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button and you know, share this, share my channel with anybody who might be interested in watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.